In Python, the file is categorized as either test or binary. Pender allows us to work with test and binary files such as Excel and CSV. Functions like the with CSV with Excel methods enable us to work with files effectively under a data frame instance. As mentioned, Pandor is mainly used for machine learning in the form of data frames. Once we use uh, Pandor functions to extract data from our test file or binary files, the data will be formed as a data frame, and Pandors further allow us to perform various data manipulation operations. Apart from the descriptive statistics such as count, sum, and mean, there are some other statistical functions which we can apply on Pandas data frame objects. They include percentage change, covariance, and correlation. So let me show you an example to see how we could work with the percentage change, covariance, and also the correlation. Here I just download the uh, NASDAQ um, index. And to the value of the NASDAQ index. So let me show you the first 10 row to see what kind of data is that we, uh, that's containing inside this NASDAQ uh, data frame. So here you can see that we have the open, high, low, close, adjust the close, and also the volumes that inside this NASDAQ database. So let's say, for example, if you want to calculate the percentage change of the closing price right here. So we can just, um, let me copy this first and next step. And then there's the percentage um, change of the close. And here, let me get more clear. Percentage change close. And then we just have the next step uh, data framework. And then we just select uh, everything inside the close column. So, okay, that's good. So, once we select this um, uh, this this close column, right now we can actually assign a new um, column. I mean, add or insert a new column that uh, we call it percentage change column, and then with the um, by using the percentage change function. That should be the CT change. Okay, that's good. So let's say, for example, I just want to show five column for the original um, data frame. And right now I want to show the um, 10 columns for the, the new data frame. So you can see that um, right now the data frame um, has one new column that's called the percentage change. And then we just use the closed price for each of the day to calculate the percentage change. Because for, for the first elements, there's not um, no reference for, for, the, for the closing price. So that means that um, the Python just help, um, help us to give an NAN to it. And then this is the percentage change by um, around 0.4% for this day and so and so. Python is also very smart um, to help us that, say for example, we have an NAN or the null value on this um, row. So they just avoid to avoid to calculate their percentage change um, so um, by um, by infinity, so they just provide. There's no nothing. There's nothing to change that in these day, and also Python is very smart that they just let these day and um, they just jump across these. I should say they just jump across the uh, no value columns, and then by using these two value to calculate the percentage change for this one. So um, so as a result, there. Um, they they help you to skip this um, null value columns uh, null value row, but at the same time they help you to calculate uh, by skipping this null value. The next things that I want to show you is the covariations. So um, say for example we have a we have a closed um, closing price and then. We would like to know whether the open price is uh, opening price is related to the um, closing price. So we just extract the 
column of the open price right here. And then we use the covariation functions to, um, to see whether um, there's a positive correlations or covariations or negative covariations. So we just um, call out these um, call functions and then put the close price right here. And then you can see the relations right here. So this is the relationship between the opening price and also the closing price. One thing I should remind right here is that covariations tell us whether both vary, variables vary in the same directions only. So there's no meaning of the covariations numerical values and only the sign is useful. So in order for us to know more about, about the magnitudes or the how strong the relationship between these two values, we will use the um, correlation function. So here we can just change it to zero out how there's the correlation functions. So right now you can see that um, this is very strong. Um, they are very strong correlated their opening price and also the close price. The last thing that I would like to show is uh, show you is the how to create a correlation coefficients table. Let's say for example we have a subset uh, of Nasdaq close right uh, of the, this Nasdaq database right here, and then we just um, pick up the uh, opening price. And then the high, high pr highest price in the day, and then the uh, lowest price in the day, and then we just get also the close price right here. Um, right here, we create a subset uh, of the NASDAQ from the original NASDAQ database. So here we just um, type in this. Um, correlation function and then print out. And you can see the result here is the correlation coefficients table. And that's the end of this um, video. So thank you for watching.